Hey man, you already know what time is your boy DC on fly, man. Shout out my boy Lil' Wolf Field the D. Come try and chat a nigga to the C, huh? All the way down to eight town, you dig? Fuck you, man, huh? Lil' Mo Films, What a word, it's your boy Lil' Mo Films. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the chilling circuit. We got a special guest in the building today. My dog, oh. Maserati Bud, man. Tell him what's going on, what's man. What's happening with you, man? Man, yeah. ain't nothing, man. Welcome to the chitlin' circuit, man. That what it is? Yeah, man. What brought you down this way, man? Hey, man, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I, people in my circle, deal with people in your circle, and we put it all together. That's it, man. And keep, That's and keep, how. And keep the squares out the show. You heard that. That's how we do it. That's how we <laughs> doing it, man. Y'all see that? We making big plays, man. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? So Maserati Bud, man. I, you know, everybody know about the Maserati car. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. where you get that name from? Was you pulling up in Maseratis as a young nigga or something? Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? Yes, For sir. real. First yeah. nigga in the hood. Yeah, so tell them about it. With the Maserati. Quasi Ford. Yeah. Damn. You put how old was you when you were doing that? Shit, I had to be about 19. Woo, pulling yeah. up Maserati. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Go look it up. Golly. Yeah, with, yeah. The paper, with the paper tag. Man, that's big, man. Yeah, that's yeah. big. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you out here motivating people, man. I heard your, uh, I heard your track, man. You use that uh that DMX. Oh yeah, yeah. You my, remix that DMX. My reality. My yeah, reality. Yeah, yeah. That shit hard, man. What? How you come up with that whole concept, bro? I mean, you know, DMX he affected a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, at the time growing up, you know, seeing my dad, you know, he used to play that that X. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I I can relate to a lot of things okay. that X you know went through as far as being in the streets. And, you know, yeah. So I related to it. You okay. Know what I mean? so, yeah, so you just chose put my own little twist on it, you know what I'm saying? Did, I then did it, I did it. Then the challenge just popped out of nowhere. That's crazy. Yeah. That took it to that, that took, took it to, it to a whole level. nother level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And did you make that song before he had passed? Or like did, yeah, did him pass it inspire you to make yeah, that song? Yeah, him, him passing inspired me. Okay, because yeah, yeah. you say your daddy was, was fucking with him and shit. You yeah, know, yeah, you know, the streets, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I heard in the song you was like uh telling on a nigga them became the new trend. Right a statement, Lord take his pen. It's like telling on a nigga that became a trend. It's like telling on a nigga that became a trend. They say I'm slipping, I'm falling, and I can't get up. I got killers that surround me that'll clean shit up. Nigga talking crazy, got his whole team hit up. It's my reality, they say that I don't dream enough. Yeah. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a powerful line, bro. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I, I, I feel that line. You know what I'm saying? I wrote that line because I've been through cases. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Well, I had Cody Fender. You know, we all stayed solid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, and we took it to the dope. Every case I, I was caught, I took to the dope. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I can't really respect the whole telling thing, but it seemed like that's the new way. Seemed like that's what's going on, man. Yeah, what you, yeah. Why you feel like that shit? I don't know, man. I got my own su suspicions on where it started at. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they they glorified that shit, man. They were glorifying niggas like Nicky Bonds and niggas like uh, what's the paid and full nigga? Um, uh, Alpo. Alpo. Like they were glorifying them niggas, like you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like that had a lot to do with niggas being like, well, shit, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you always had rats, all the, you know. I know they, it. They all. always been around. It's a bunch of these niggas. Now. It's like they've been a bunch. It's just that just, they out the closet now. Mm, you get mm, what I'm saying? I never looked at it like yeah, that. Yeah, they just out the closet. They've been a, they been around. They been going on forever. You know what I'm saying? I at never the end of the day, like Judas that. was a rat. He Who told it? Judas. He told oh, Jesus. Oh yeah, you right. You so right. it been going on for two <laughs> forever. You know what I'm saying? The devil. He turned Jesus into yeah. a couple coins. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Damn, I never thought about so that. So the first Damn. rat to be actually growing fried was Judas. Judas. Hey boy, this is an educated young nigga right here. <laughs> hey, he just put me in, he put a little more films on some shit, Yeah, man. yeah. So they been glorified since, since, since then. In then. the Bible. Right. It's in the book. It's yeah. in the book. So it That's crazy. It ain't new nothing. So uh you originally from Miami and shit. Yes, sir. What part what part of Miami you from? From Liberty City. Liberty City. Yeah, I'm from the city. We done heard about the man, we done heard so much about that shit, yeah, man. City, you, you know. Man. Yeah. But how that shit really is, cause you know we see movies and we see music videos and shit, you know what I'm saying? What that what that shit really like, man? Yeah. Liberty City, man, Liberty City is 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 what it is, man. Like that's the mm -hmm. hood. That's yeah. the street. Yeah. That's the that's, real street. That's, that's, that, oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, that's the real it, shit. Is it pumped up how they is it yeah, like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Really so it's really going out. Yeah, What's some yeah. crazy ass shit you seen around that motherfucker, man? Just Liberty City. Like niggas won't believe it, like. Uh, like I give you an example, like for me, I go down to, to uh, Florida. I done been down there a couple of times. You know what I'm saying, nigga? The cars, nigga. 
you it's just be some shit like it might just be normal to y'all. Yeah, see, see a lot so of things much. to to me is normal. So when you say what's some crazy shit I done seen, I done seen just about everything. Yeah. But the realest shit I ever seen was when um you know what I'm saying, me bringing 50 Cent back. You know, he coming to Miami and taking all my niggas out to dinner. You know what I'm saying? Took everybody, took all my whole, whole team. Took my whole team out to dinner. You know what I'm saying? That was like some historical shit in the hood. Boy, them niggas ain't gonna never forget never that. Forget they gonna say, nigga, that nigga yeah. brought 50 yeah. to the hood. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, look, they gonna be like, yeah, he yeah. brought 50 so to the hood. That, that, that was like something historical. Yeah. Damn, you that's crazy saying? right now. Yeah. That's crazy, man. So they, they say you, uh, you living in uh in Atlanta now? Yeah, I'm in Atlanta. That's Atlanta. where you at now? Yes, sir. That's where it's at right there, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. There's always something to do down there yeah, in yeah, Atlanta, yeah. man. Well, how you liking that shit, man? What's the difference yeah, I, down there? I mean, if it weren't for Atlanta, I wouldn't be here right now. Because mm -hmm. the simple fact of, I was able to plug in Atlanta to mm -hmm. get to the point where I'm at now. You know okay. what I'm saying? To get to this stage. You feel me? What kind of moves you was making down there? You just, you know what I'm saying? You I just mean, like, fuck it, I'm finna move to Atlanta. Yeah, because I had, I had, I did everything you could do in Miami mm -hmm. to me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You went as far as you, you can take yeah, it. Yeah, as far as I can take it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, I just felt like, like uh, what's the movie? Uh, American Gangster. Bam. Okay. It's like, I got to go get, go, go to the jungle Jump. and get the plug. If I see everybody getting on in Atlanta, that's what that's where it must be going down That's at. where it's at. You yeah. get me? So yeah. I went on to the jungle. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Or you can stay in Miami and keep putting the money in the job. That's and it. ain't getting nowhere. I did that. that was, yeah. It seemed like that was a smart move, man. So you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, uh, mm -hmm. so uh, they, they said you were signed with Slip and Slide at first, though. What, that? No, I wasn't actually signed. We just had like a little joint venture that I was doing. You okay, know, but you were linked in with yeah, 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 yeah. Slip and Slide showed me a lot of love. Ted Lewis, them over there. Okay. I learned a lot from them. You know what I'm saying? That okay. was a learning experience. So you got to, so you got to meet like uh, Trick Dad and Trina and, well, and I, all I, that I shit. I kind of new Trick. Okay. I, you know, I used to be a bump head. He Trina. always talk about Liberty City, though. He be talking about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He 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 from down south, but you know, he Poking Bean projects or something. Yeah, my grandma right. stayed in the Poking Bean project. Okay, see, so I know a little something though. I don't know yeah, it, yeah. you know. I've been yeah, listening yeah, yeah. to this shit, trick, man. Trick trick from all the, the southern part of Miami. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And but um I'm from Liberty City. Trina mm -hmm. from Liberty City. You okay. Know what I'm all right. So yeah. All right. The baddest, the baddest yeah, nigga yeah, of yeah, all yeah, time. She yeah. she been holding it down. Mm -hmm. Give us, give us some. Uh, you ain't never messed with Plies or nothing like that. Nah, I never met Plies. I never okay. Met Plies. I met Trainer. I met Trick. Yeah, cause we rock with Plies down here too, man. You okay, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, he had a big movement going on when he first, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, Plies fucked up. Yeah, he did his thing. Yeah, so you ain't got no memories with them folks or nothing, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, something that the fans don't know, like some shit that just was epic one day or something. You were kicking it with them folks. Uh, me and Trick, uh, we did a show. A couple years ago in Jacksonville, me and okay, Trey, so you did get it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we did, it, we did a show back, back, back in Jacksonville, and um, that was dope. That was dope. That was dope. Yeah, he yeah. still got it. He yeah. still, yeah. Yeah, he still doing his thing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I heard your manager plugged you up with Fifty. Yeah. You feel me? Is that how that went down? Yeah. Big Mike. Shout out to Big Mike, man. Big Mike BML, man. Yeah. Um, one of my old, my OGs from Miami. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Plugged me to. Big Mike when mm -hmm. I moved to Atlanta. Okay. And um, Big Mike, he took me to New York. Me fit. So that's how that that's how that that's went. That's how that went. So you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like I tell a lot of people when it comes down to this music thing, it's about relationships a lot of times. So it's like what you what who you what they say is is not who you is not not what, what you, know, you know is who, who you, you know. know a lot of times, yeah. Yeah, that's so, crazy. You know, but it's you still had to have music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still gotta present. Your something. shit gotta be good. Yeah, though. it gotta be. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got a nice flow, man. Niggas actually been comparing you to some on some pop smoke shit, bro. They been like, man, you finna take off where pop smoke left off. Man, it. shout out to pop, man. You know we was kicking in the Super Bowl weekend before he died, man. Damn, man. Pop was cool, man. You know what I'm saying? When I when I met him, he was cool, man. He was just on the rise. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pop kind of pop heavier. He was already popping in New York mm -hmm. before he, you know the South. Okay. So I kind of heard his music before. Yeah, a before lot of it came down yeah. this way. But you know, at the time, he he kind of popped more down the South after he kind of died. You get what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. But he was cool, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I first met him in the Super Bowl weekend, Fifty let him open up a couple shows because the South wasn't really familiar with him yet. Like, man, you get what I'm saying? Trying to get his name, get out his there. name out there. And mm -hmm. um, man, it's just crazy that. You know, he had so much potential. Damn. And you know, yeah. he got took from us so soon. You know what I'm saying? It, it happens, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It happened, man. Uh, young, young Dolph just got killed. Uh, yeah, yeah, I see. That 400 dude in Cali. 
Yeah. He got killed. And you know what I'm saying? Draco died yesterday. Draco just got stabbed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 getting hard out here to be a rapper, man. This shit harder than the streets almost. Like, you feel me? Niggas yeah. dying quicker in the rap game than they dying in the streets. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? How you yeah. feel about what's going on? You ever get nervous about this shit? Are I you... mean, I don't have my situations on the road doing yeah. shows, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, from fights to shootouts to all kind of stuff. I mean, it's like this here. You putting out that kind of energy, so you it's just like karma. Mm-hmm. The tongue is very powerful. Yeah. So that's why on this album, I'm not really focusing on that aspect. I'm talking more about the struggle. Mm-hmm. Pain, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and 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 how to come up. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying. Okay. And, and, and my album is based on solving the problem. We all know the problems, mm-hmm. but what rapper talking about how we how we solve this? Yeah, you own the You get what I'm saying. Yeah, you own We know the, the problem. We know what's going on. We from the hood. We we know most of the killings is revenge killings. Ain't none of this be new stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, he stepped is on my shoes. Is it over some money or some? It's re- a revenge. revenge. Most of it's revenge. Yeah. You get what I'm saying. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's like, when are we gonna come to the day where we gonna say, hey, let's put this behind us and move forward? Which yeah. is hard when somebody's brother got killed, a cousin got killed. So it'd be a lot of a lot of it's generational wars. A lot of people, it's it's just like going back in, in, in Roman times. A lot of it's generation. Mm-hmm. He killed my uncle. Yeah. He shot my cousin. So it's gonna really whoever the strongest person first to to let that shit go. Right. That's how it gonna. That's the only way it gonna end. Yeah. Somebody gotta let go. Yeah, that seems like it's hard to do for these young niggas. <laughs> it's hard to crazy. do because of social media. Yeah. Yeah, how you think that done affected this shit? That social media shit, but hey. Social media is affected a lot because at the end of the day, it's like a lot of these cats, they dry snitch on they self. They get on there and they mm-hmm. tell everything. You're right. Mm-hmm. This is what I don't understand. I want you to explain this to me, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna say this to the viewers, right? And the other rappers out there. Mm-hmm. A nigga would lie to his mama, mm-hmm. a nigga would lie to his sister, his cousin, <laughs> yeah. he would lie to his kids. Basically, nigga be lying, been lying all his <laughs> life, right? <coughs> you ain't lying. <coughs> and then a nigga jump right up on the platform and decide to tell the, the motherfucking truth. truth. Yeah. Dang. Nigga, you been lying your whole life to my, everybody around. Might well keep it going, man. You get on a camera and decide I'm going to tell the truth today. Damn, that's crazy. That's the most backward shit I ever heard in my life. Yeah, you right, yeah. Nigga claim every set, every gang in the world when they get on camera, but been lying to everybody his you whole right. life. You right. Mm. How backwards is that? Think about that. Damn, I ain't never thought about that, fam. Yeah. That's some real shit though, right? Hey, I like this nigga, man. <laughs> hey, this nigga educated, man. Hey, this nigga. Educated. I mean, it's common sense, though. Yeah. We was always taught if you a street cat, right? Yeah. yeah. You never tell the truth. Yeah, of course. Yeah. How right. old you is? What's right. your name? So, why would I wait till the camera's on me to decide to tell the truth yeah. when the whole world is. I don't know what they feel. Let me that. tell y'all yeah. something right now. I am not a street nigga. I am a rapper. There you go. No, I rap. Is it? Street shit. We telling the street shit. Mm-hmm. If you ain't accomplished what you're going to accomplish in the streets by now, it's over with. It's over you with. Might work out, bro. Yeah, you need to relax. Yeah, it ain't for you. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> and on that note, this is a perfect time to shout out our sponsors. Okay. The Chattanooga Selfie Museum. Can I get you to say that with me? Chattanooga the Chattanooga Selfie, Selfie Museum. Museum. There we go. That's where I'm at with it. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, uh, how you heard about Chattanooga, man? You know what I'm saying? What brought you? What, you know? I mean, um, management, my team. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Before they had you ever heard of Chattanooga? I see it on the expressway in Atlanta. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, that's, we, we fighting to try to get in this game, man. You know what I'm saying? We bring something to the table, too, right. man. It's the chitlin' circuit. You feel okay. me? Like, this is where a lot of niggas come before they blow up. You right. feel me? But. Now we actually right here able to talk to a nigga. Look, nigga, when you blow up, nigga, don't forget about us, man. man you feel me? Like, y'all, I'm finna introduce you to my city. You know what I'm saying? I, I like, they, they, they finna you. turn up on you, feel me? When you get the way you're going, I know some ran right. with Chattanooga, nigga, and one of them songs. You feel me? Like, throw that shit in there. Okay. Give us a little shine. You feel yeah. me? They help niggas from this motherfucker do their thing. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? So that what we be, we be down here struggling, nigga, trying, like, damn, nigga, just say. Chattanooga Y'all gotta, y'all, y'all, y'all gotta book niggas come through. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, if it's, you book them to come through, you. Okay, I'm glad I can have this conversation with an artist. This okay. is good. This is good right here. This is mm-hmm. the thing, bro. 
This a this a product. This a white town. Mm -hmm. All this shit owned by white people. You feel me? You know these niggas can't act, bro. Every time we book some shit, you know what I'm saying? The shit go down, and you know niggas get shot and all that old shit. You know how the shit be going. Right. And that shit happened a couple of times. They shutting it down. They ain't letting niggas use the spot like that. And then we do got a couple of spots though, you know that that'll book a nigga, but it ain't just wide open like if you go to Nashville or if you right. go to, so it make it hard for niggas to want to come through here. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because the big thing you is it. You see what I'm saying? Right. And it, it, cost, it costs a lot. Then you know y'all charge, and it's like hard for a nigga to get his money back. You right. know what I'm saying? Okay. So and then but, but so my, what you what you think they need to what you think your city need to do? They need to be what right. you doing right? You this this is history right here. You the first nigga, bro. To come from out of town to come to Chattanooga to do this podcast. You feel me? To do this shit. Okay, well. You the very first one. Well, I'm kicking the door in then. You feel me? Okay. You know what I'm saying? When sure. they see you, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully they'll come on in. You All feel right. me? They can see the benefits. Y'all need to come through Chattanooga, man. They live over here, man. This a dope spot. Yeah, straight yeah, like that, spot, man. Straight yeah. like that. So, uh, what's what's up with you and 50, man? What y'all, well, you know, you know what I'm yeah, saying? What y'all, what y'all, what y'all got going there, man? I, you know, he killing the game with the yeah, 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 the yeah. TV game yeah, right TV now. You fucking him up. Yeah, yeah, he killing that shit. You man. ain't getting no role in the, in the BML. I gotta take me some acting courses, man. Oh, and I've been working. Okay. Nah, the truth is, I've been working on this album, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like you don't want to be a jack of all trades and a master none. I want to master. My music Your first, music. the same way he did. You get I what I'm saying? He had the music that. first, I did, and then that. everything else fell in line. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I want to master it, and then the, the thing about it too is when I act, I want to act for real. So I want to mm -hmm. get an acting coach. I want to go yeah, take, take a few courses. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga might have to gain ten pounds. I lose yeah, yeah. twenty pounds. Yeah. yeah. So you know, I want to take it serious, just like I take my music. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to just jump out there and be, you know, and be like yeah, that nigga can't. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I got you. I so got I want to do it for real. For real. Right. I got you. I got you. That nigga Meech did a good job on that shit. Yeah, yeah. That nigga did a real good job. Yeah, Meech did a dope job, man. Yeah, that nigga look like he been acting, acting yeah, since he, day he, one. He moved out to L.A. for two years. Oh, yeah? Yeah, 50 moved him out there to L.A. to take acting courses. Bam. Okay, so I got you. you. So you peeping the game. Yeah, okay, I got yeah, you. Got it. Yeah. I got you on that, man. So your, uh, they say your album dropping on uh, on December the 27th. 27, man. The 27th. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Why that day? Um, my dad. That's my dad's birthday. Okay. And uh, R.P. Big Gator, he passed away last year from cancer. Okay. In November, damn. so I right. I want to drop the album on his birthday. Man, sorry to hear that, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. You don't get but one day to man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's a special day. I dig that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How was how was your pops as a uh, young nigga? Was he, was he a pops that was around? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Was he? He the reason you calling me a smart nigga right now. Okay. All right. That's me? what's up. That's a good thing he left in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that. So yeah. he educated you pretty exactly. much. I soaked it all up. Ain't nothing wrong with yeah. that, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what you gonna call that motherfucker, man? Man, it's called Heart of a Hustler Reload. Heart of a Hustler Reloaded. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, 50 dedicated the second chapter in his book. It's called Heart of a Hustler to the album. To the album. So it's a little shout out. Okay. Yeah. Dang, 50 dedicated the chapter in this book to that. Second. Yeah, crazy. second chapter. The in second book chapter called, in the book. Little more fingers. But uh, you got your own clothing line and everything. Yeah, man, called Bada, man. Bada. Yeah, it's a luxury brand. I'm start, I started, man. Luxury Bada. brand. Hell, yeah, it stands for Born Alone, Die Alone. Why you you that's why you chose that? Is this just something that I always that's, that's real shit. That's though. the truth. Yeah. You gonna be born yeah. by yourself. Yeah. You know, that, yeah. I don't know. Some people born with twins. Yeah, but one had, you know, I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta mess with you, man. Yeah, Look, I'm yeah. just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. But yeah, why? The, I mean, uh, so bottom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Born alone, die alone. Yeah, I'm dealing with um high end materials like suede. You know what I'm saying? Alligator skin. Okay. It's, like it's high end. You get what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. Yeah, That's what's up, man. Different fabrics, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like to play with the textures, the fabrics. You okay, I dig that. I dig that. You know what I'm saying? I did that. You seem like a little smooth ass nigga, man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You got down, you know, I'm watching you move and shit. Yeah, you feel me? We gotta get it. We gotta bring the players back to the game, man. man I feel you, bro. Yeah, yeah. That shit done yeah, changed. We gotta bring the players yeah. back to the game, man. Yeah. We got enough killers and shooters and These niggas killing these niggas. We yeah. gotta bring the players yeah. back to the game, man. Yeah, I dig that, yeah. man. I dig that. So what kind of what kind of brand would you say it is besides a luxury brand? Like, uh is it, it who you targeting? You know what I'm saying with the brand get like money, man. You gotta be getting money to wear that damn. So it don't matter if you white, black, nah, Mexican, it don't none matter. of that. Nah, yeah. nah. Cause everybody yeah. like fly stuff. You feel yeah. me? But this what I'm saying is if 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 if, if you ain't fly, mm -hmm. then this ain't for you. Mm -hmm. You feel me? If you like to dress down, this ain't for you. Mm -hmm. This for cats that, that wanna look like Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look we like taking money. it back yeah. to that. Yeah. We, I'm, I'm trying to bring that back to the game. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. That's yeah. what's up. 
Yeah, yeah, I dig that, man. I dig that. But yeah, man, is there anything else you wanna uh, let the people know? I know you, uh, y'all got shit to do, y'all on the road and shit, man. I don't wanna hold y'all up, but yeah. you know. No, the main thing I want them to do, man, is go get that album on the 27th, man. It's special. Okay. You get what I'm saying? All right, what it's gonna be on it? all platforms. Right. Apple Music, Spotify, it's gonna be on all platforms. Okay. And I got DC Young Fly hosting it. Oh. DC, yeah, DC ain't never hosted no album before with the host of mine. Oh, man. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so I got right DC Young Fly hosting it, so. It, it's it, it's something different. That's what's up, man. Yeah, That's what's up. The game up, saying that everybody saying, I want something different. I want something different. Yeah. Okay, you finna get something different, but the truth, the thing is, can you accept different when it comes? Is it? I did. You that. get what I'm saying? Yeah. The whole rap industry saying, I'm tired of hearing the same thing. Everybody rapping the same cadence. Yeah. Okay, now when I get this to you, now can you accept it? I feel. You. I feel. Because it don't sound like. Everybody yeah. else. But we excited about that shit, man. Yes, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the whole child of Nuka tapped in on it. You feel what yes, I'm sir. saying? So we're gonna I push that. Definitely Hopefully definitely. we link you up with some folks, man. You can get some shows done. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. I'm gonna try to link you in with the, the folks at the signal. You okay. feel me? That's what they do a lot of uh Isaiah Rashad just came home and did his show. You Let's know what I'm saying? I'm uh, working, man. Bum B, everybody, this is where they come do that. And I'm, I'm gonna let all the local artists know too, man. When I'm, when I'm in town, man, mm -hmm. I do features, man. So this was up. I'm swinging through. Y'all catch me while I'm here, man. I'll drop something for you. That's what's up, man. Yeah. That's what's up. That's for what sure, we definitely sure. gonna plug that up, man. We definitely I got I got two last things I got to answer though, bro. You got to give me something exclusive, man. Give me a give me a story with you and 50 Cent, man. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> some, you know what I'm saying? Besides, I know you said he took you and your, uh, your boys out. What's some shit, you know, some epic ass shit. You know. Oh, they some epic shit. Okay, we go to the we go to fight at the Barclays. Okay. Uh, Deontay Wilder. Okay. Um, um, Tank Davis is on the undercard. Okay, night. Tank Davis. Yeah. And uh, one of my partners called from from Chain Gang from prison. Okay. He been down. Shout out to Big Key. He, he, he been down for uh, 23 years. Damn. You know what I'm saying? He got two life sentences. Mm. So he FaceTimed. Mm -hmm. 50 jumped on the FaceTime, man. The whole prison ran to the fire. <laughs> it went oh, crazy, man. man. Oh and man, that, he would get free, he would get free trade for like a month and a half. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, you turned them up. Yeah, you I turned, turned them up. Yeah, we yeah, turned you them turned them up. Yeah, yeah, that's what's yeah, up, man. Yeah. See, 50, 50, yeah, a real nigga. Yeah, he a real nigga. He, he, do, he know time. shit like that. Yeah, he was talking to the niggas, you know. Yeah, that's time. real, man. That's that real, man. That's real, man. All right, man, so yeah, let them know where they can uh, reach at, man, your IG and your information and stuff. Okay, yeah, y'all can tap in with me at BudReal100 on Instagram, Maserati Bud on Facebook, Maserati Bud on YouTube, G Unit Bud on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music. Y'all gonna tap in with me, man, on my side. Hey, y'all make sure y'all tap in with a man for them verses, for everything. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get at them. Yeah. But um, on this on this show, man, I always like to leave on a positive note. You mm -hmm. feel me? And I believe that our words are powerful, bro. Yeah. You feel me? Like, and the uh, powers in our tongue, we speak things into existence. Right. You feel me? So, for the next five years of Maserati Bud life, what do you want to speak into existence on your life? Man, I want to just change the mindset of, 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 of the brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I just want to, I want to change, change, change the game. You feel me? I, I'm coming in this game, not just the rap. I'm coming in this game to change the thing, like change the way people think, like how when I was saying about the snitch thing and the mm -hmm. Jewish thing. Yeah. You feel me? Just open up people's minds, because a lot of it is just common sense. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And a lot of things we overlook, what we think is bigger than it really is, when it really is, if you just take a look at it through another perspective, you'll see like, damn, this shit, like you're saying, it's real, what he's saying. Mm -hmm. So that's what I want to do. I want to change the way a lot of people think, man, a lot of uh, the way we, 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 we approaching things. You get what I'm saying? I do. As a culture, you get what I'm saying? I do. So that's my whole thing, just change change the game. So that's your goal for the next five yeah, years? Yeah, That's man. what's up, man. That's a, yeah. that's a big goal. That's yeah. a good goal, man. Yeah. Man, you seem, this nigga seem like your old flat earth nigga or something, man. I don't know, man. You seem like you're on the flat earth. Oh, what, what that is? The, the, uh, they saying we in the dome, the flat earth. You know what I'm saying? The earth flat, not round. Oh, that, that I don't, Yeah, I you, don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I, I ain't, I, I ain't really into that. <laughs> I'm a, listen, man, let me, let me tell you. Man, yeah. I don't be having time to worry about the earth if it's flat or not. Because yeah. there's too many niggas getting killed in the hood. Like, we got to start worrying about what's, what's going on outside, yeah. not... Yeah. What's going on all over there? What yeah, they trying? You can't to, do nothing about this shit. Right? They, yeah. they they just trying to throw you off, telling you about it, so you won't see what the real what's really going on. That's it. You worry about the flat Earth when your cousin just got shot up last week. 
I ain't got time to worry about that. I gotta save some lives and, and, and help some people, man. Indeed. I ain't got time. My community. Indeed. I can't worry about the flat earth. So that's how I be looking at that. That's real. That's yeah, real. That's, nah, how, that's, real. <laughs> that's how I be looking at that. But the facts are, hey, yeah, this is yeah. the chilly circuit, man. I'm telling yes, you, this is where the shit started, man. You feel yeah. me? Right here, man. And we appreciate a real nigga coming through, man. For sure, for sure. You feel me? All day. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're going to let y'all get on, man. Hey, Maserati Bud, man. A little chilling more films. The chilling circuit. Y'all need to tap in, tap in. Boom, we out, man. Yes, sir. Little more films, nigga. It's your boy, Project Pata. Little Mo Films, you watching the Chitlin' Circuit, y'all know what it is.